Hi folks, we have another Clean Water Systems instructional video for you today. Today we're going to talk about our Air Max system. Um, this basically consists of the air compressor here, and you have the Max Event system to the head to your tank. And basically what this does is your water inlet comes in, goes down through the tank, there's air forced in here through the compressor, and it basically gives you a head, head of air in here, uh, then your outlet water goes through, so your water stream goes through it, and it oxidizes uh, with the air. So basically you have your tank. Uh, this here is your ball valve to control the outflow and the solenoid valve. So let's go ahead and show you how to set this up. Okay, so let's uh, start with setting up the air compressor first. So you'll get your kit with your air compressor. You'll have your regulating valve. You'll have two check valves and make sure you see the little arrows on those because it's important to put those in the right direction. You're going to have a quarter inch nipple, two three eighths inch nipples, a quarter to three eighths adapter. You're going to have three of your compression fittings for your tubing. And you'll have either uh, three little shock absorbers if you have the setup with the shelf or just the regular rubber feet that go on the bottom if you choose the non-shelf option and your pressure gauge. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove this uh, red cap here on the outlet site on the outlet port right here. And you're going to go ahead and put your check valve in, make sure your flow direction, your arrow is facing out. You're going to go ahead and use some uh, thread tape. Go ahead and put your fitting to here and thread tape it in here. Be careful not to over tighten this fitting because you can break these, crack these heads. So go ahead and install that. You're going to remove this plug right here, it's a little hex head plug. You're going to remove that and you're going to, again using thread tape, go ahead and install your pressure gauge up or to the side depending on how you're going to mount it. You're going to want to remove this plug as well and that's where you're going to go ahead and install your um, flow control uh, regulator. At this point you can go ahead and put your little uh, feet, thread your little rubber feet or your uh, other feet with the non-shelf type into your motor and you're going to go ahead and turn the pump on, plug it in. What you want to do with this flow controller is, is there's this little locking jam nut in the middle here. You want to loosen that up and you want to thread this in. What that's going to do is increase the pressure on your pump. Now you can either plug this or uh, I may have ability here in the shop, I just kind of hold my finger over it. But what you want to do is you want to thread this in and you want to adjust your pressure up and you want to leak test this to make sure you can actually get pressure out of the pump. Eventually I'll show you how to set this uh, above the pressure of your line pressure, but for now you just want to check the functionality of the pump. All right, the next thing we want to do is set up our vent tank head. Um, as you can see here, there's an inlet and an outlet side. Um, this is where your air is actually going to go in to the quarter inch uh, MPT port and the 3 8 NPT port is where your maxi vent comes out. So if you look on the bottom of this here, you have four holes. Um, two are slip fits and one, two are threaded. So first thing you want to do, and it, uh, it's important that you do this in order, uh, especially if you have the, um, the uh, uh, optional um, double uh, aeration system. So for just the standard one, it's not a big deal. Your diffuser port is going to go into this threaded one here, just hand tight. No thread tape needed, just go ahead and hand tight that in. Like that. Your vent tube, square on one end, has an angle on the other end. Go ahead and use a little PVC glue on that guy and that's going to slip in all the way into there. Glue that into place. And then the third one is your D-tube. Basically this is pre-cut for your tank. And it basically goes down about four inches from the bottom of your tank. Um, this is what your water comes back through. Basically your water diffuses into here. Your uh, water comes back out through the D-tube. And then of course um, this is where your maxi vent air comes in. So this guy, there's an O-ring in here. You're just going to go ahead and, and seat that down there on the O-ring like that. Okay, you also have an O-ring here. Make sure you put lube on those um, before you install them, and then you're going to go ahead and install this on your tank. Again, be very careful. You want to hand tighten this. You just want to seat it on that O-ring there. You don't want to over tighten these. You can break them. Not only the head, but the tank. 
So that's how you would set up a standard aeration one. If you get our optional double aeration, that comes with some tubing, a tie clip, a little stone here, and a compression fitting. So what you're going to want to do here first on this one is before all of these are put in, you can see this is real tight here. This is a real close fitting, so you need to do this in order. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and get wrap yourself with some thread tape here on this guy and install this fitting. Now what you're going to want to do is your D-tube is approximately four inches from the bottom of your tank then this stone is going to be another four inches from the D-tube so basically inside the tank you're going to have this and this is going to be up here about four inches higher and then the bottom of the tank is down here at four inches. So you go ahead and figure that out and measure out your tubing and cut your tubing and then for these compression fittings, you'll just put the fitting through like this in there and hand tighten that down. Then the other end of the tubing, you're going to slip over here like this onto your barb all the way up. You can use hot water or a heat gun here if you need to to soften that up to get that up there. And then about halfway down, a little more than halfway down the tube, you're going to use a tie wrap and tie wrap your blue hose to this just to kind of hold that stone in place there. So that's how you set up the double aeration system. All right, so we've got our uh, diffusers and everything installed, our D-tubes installed. We've got this threaded into the tank, placed where we want to put it. We went ahead and plumbed the inlet and outlet of our uh, water service here. We've got the pump set up. Pump's going into, so now we're going to go ahead and set up the Air Max system here. So in the front here, you've got your 3 8 nipple. Going to go into your 3 8 ball valve, another 3 8 nipple, into your solenoid valve. You then have a 3 8 quarter reducer, quarter inch union, and one of your compression fittings. This line here is going to go for the, for today's demonstration purposes, I have it loose and I'll show you the end of it because I want to show you how to set this. But this needs to go to a drain line, suitable drain line uh, with an air gap. Uh, just make sure you uh, do that, plumb that in right. For the solenoid, today for this uh, demonstration we're using a 110 volt solenoid. We're going to run it off of a timer. Um, if you have a 220 system, you're basically your solenoid valve will come without a cord and you'll just wire this into your switch pump. Um, so, But for today, so you know when the timer goes on and off, we've got it set to a timer, your solenoid valve and your pump will come on at the same time. So using thread tape and a little uh, thread lube go ahead and install this together. And then for the air end that's on the back side here so we, we're, we've got this line right here coming in. So again we have one of our compression fittings and this is another check valve. So we have a check valve up at the pump and a check valve here. Again you want to make sure the check valve flow is going this direction which allows air to go in and not to come back out. So make sure that arrow is facing towards the tank. So this is a picture of our timer here plugged in. We have the solenoid valve plugged into one side of it and the air compressor into the other side of it. Uh, so for this what we uh, would recommend is, is that you would you know turn it on, have it come on every three, three or four times a day for five or ten minutes just to recharge that head uh, of air in your tank. Another option uh, for the 110, uh, if you prefer to, you can go ahead and install a flow meter um, in between your well and your pressure tank as well. Um, and that basically has a plug that you can tie into this as well. So basically, when it sees a water flow, it will go ahead and open the compressor, or turn on the compressor and open the solenoid valve. So a couple things here. What we want to do is we want to adjust our regulator here for the pump to between 5 and 10 PSI above our line pressure. That way you're basically going to have just a little uh, delta P across there and you'll be able to create this air pocket in here. 
What you don't want to do is you never want to run just the pump with everything isolated off because you can build up too much pressure in here and burst the tank. So that's kind of what this ball valve is for um, because again when your pump opens your solenoid opens and you're pumping uh, air in through the water but what you want to do is you want to get a little little vent here so you just have a little bit of pressure coming out of here but yet you're still creating your air pocket. So we're going to go ahead and turn the timer on and you hear the pump come on. So now you know if you have a, we, this, in our case we have a, a valve here, so we kind of know where we want to set the pressure to. So remember this little nut in the middle backs up and you can adjust the air pressure here. So we've got about uh, 40 psi line pressure, so we're going to go ahead and set this to about 45 and then we're going to lock that little nut down. And that assures that we're not going to overpressurize. Then what we're going to do is see we're, see we're building pressure in the tank right now. So what we want to do is slightly open this valve and be careful because you can get you can shoot water out of it. But what you want to do is you want to get it to where you just have a little bit of a trickle out of it. So what you should be able to do is hold this and see there's not quite enough pressure there so I'm going to give it just a little more So you just want to adjust this to where it's still building up pressure, but it allows it to vent a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust this pressure up a little bit more. So you want to adjust your ball valve here to where you're just a little bit of drop here and then what you're going to do is hold your finger over for a few minutes and what you should see is it's spurt like that. It's about right where you want to set it. See you're building head pressure up in there but you're not building too much. So you want to keep adjusting that ball valve until you get that kind of action going. And then go ahead and hook it up to your drain and you should be good to go. All right, thanks folks.